I'm here at the 97th PGA Championship on number four green of the Whistling Straits, uh, Straits course, and I wanted to talk a little bit today about new technologies we can use to better manage our moisture on our, our golf courses. And um, what I have in my right hand here is a uh, TDR probe. It's something that a lot of golf course superintendents have really come to embrace when it comes to monitoring uh, for dry spots on their on their greens, especially when you have a tournament like uh, the PGA Championship, where we're trying to keep things a little bit on the dry side to keep it firm and fast. The one problem with this, with this uh, device is we still have to probe around everywhere to find those hot spots, and so we need some historical knowledge to know where that those hot spots are going to be. And when you have interns or new assistants, uh, or it's just getting dry and you know you maybe you're pushing the limits of uh, of, of your hand watering, uh, that can be pretty time consuming to just go around and find all those hot spots. And so what I wanted to talk about today was a, a newer technology that I think has a lot of potential to help us scout for hot spots uh, on our turf grass. And that is a, a FLIR infrared camera. Uh, FLIR stands for forward looking infrared. And how this works is it measures the temperature of the entire surface. You may be familiar with a infrared gun that measures at a point. Well, this is like more of a camera where you have a viewfinder and you can look at your green and, and try to find uh, those hot spots. And so the soil's low in water, there's less water to transpire. And so when it's sunny out and the plant can't transpire, those hot spots will heat up. Uh, and then if they heat up to a point, they'll start to see wilt. And so the, the theory here is we can actually see the plants heating up in those hot spots before we actually see them wilt in the field. Uh, and so you can very simply just go around and scan uh, your greens. How is the best way to use this? Most of these cameras are adjusted so that the range automatically uh, goes from the coldest point to the hottest point. And that might be good for taking a picture, but when we're scouting for spots, we don't want those ranges scout, um, jumping around. So one thing you'd want to do is set the range on your, uh, on your camera. Uh, so you, the low is generally about uh, two to four degrees Fahrenheit, less than the, the average surface temperature. And then that your, uh, your high range is just about, uh, maybe, you know, six degrees above that average surface temperature. And then when you go look around, you'll see that the areas that are getting dry will have a little bit uh, brighter color on the camera. And then you can verify that with your probe and save some time and then not water things. There's plenty of times where the grass may look dry because it's beat up, especially during a tournament where we're mowing and rolling a lot. And our eyes may deceive us. We look at this camera, we can see, yes, maybe it's a little beat up, but it is still transpiring. There's still soil moisture there, and maybe we don't need to go hand water that spot. I think in the future, this, uh, this type of technology has a great potential for golf. This camera here is a little bit more expensive. This is a $3,000 camera, and I don't recommend using that camera this expensive uh, to do uh, scouting. But we do have uh, cameras now that we can plug into the bottom of our smartphones, both Android and uh, uh, iPhone uh, uh, capability for about $250, and so maybe something you want to invest in. Uh, you can plug it into your phone, you know, set your temperature high and low range, and just kind of scout your greens and very quickly see where it's hot and where it's not.